talk about my favorite accessory which is handbags um we're now about a month into the capsule wardrobe experiment and i know that um handbags don't count towards your item count but i still want to apply the same philosophy of being intentional and um having a handbag collection that works for me and my lifestyle so i've kind of filtered down and I currently only have nine handbags in my collection and I've broken them into five categories because I feel like these are the five bags that every minimalist girl should have. So stay tuned to see what's in my collection and which handbags I think you guys should have. So the first um, category of bag that I think everyone should have, even though most of us probably aren't students anymore, are backpacks. Um, I currently have two. This one is from Madewell. Um, this is the bag that I use when I'm traveling. I use this as part of my carry-on. Um, I just love it because it keeps my hands free so that I can carry, roll my luggage and also if I need to like um, hold on to my passport and my ID, I have another hand for that. So this keeps my um, hands free and then I'm also able to stuff a lot of stuff in here. Um, I typically put a laptop in there or um, an extra sweater uh, most of my liquids go in here so that it's easy access for when we go through the terminals um, so I love backpacks I also use this for work sometimes when I need to bring my laptop somewhere or if I'm working in a cafe I might bring this along too so love this one I've had this one for years now um, and it's held up pretty well love that my, my second backpack is um, from Zara and it's a little bit of a trendy piece but I bought it because I needed a smaller backpack for days at Disneyland or um, when we're at music festivals like Coachella because I didn't want to lug that big backpack around for those days so I bought this one from Zara you'll have seen this in our Coachella vlog or our festival lookbook um, but this is just the perfect size for a water bottle for our cameras um, my wallet and keys and phone so this is perfect i love that it has two different compartments for um, smaller items going here and even in this bigger pocket there's um, another inner pocket in here to keep things safe so love this um, the second category of handbags i feel like every girl needs are tote bags and this is for days when you want to you know tote your life around um, and, but you don't quite want to wear a backpack I currently have two. Um, this Madewell tote is probably the oldest bag in my collection. You can see it's very well loved. Um, I've had this bag probably since 2010, 2011. It's come with me to New York Fashion Week. It's come with me to grad school, um, undergrad. It's come with me through a lot to a lot of um, adventures because um, this is older than my backpack so um, this used to be my carry-on um, item as well today though this is my work bag um, I bring this with me to work every day it has all my work stuff in here which I won't bore you with but this can also fit my laptop in it and I think it's just really great and sturdy to have so love this I'm probably gonna keep this for ever and ever and ever so love this one um, the second tote bag that I invested in this summer and is probably my newest um, purchase in my collection is a basket bag so this is the one I have um, this one's from free people um, it's their Marrakesh basket bag I bought this one for um, beach days and just for those you know to complete the summery outfits that I have because I've noticed that a lot of my bags as you will see <laughs> are black so I kind of wanted one that was a lighter tone to kind of brighten up those um, outfits where I'm not wearing black which you know is pretty rare um, so I got this one and I love it I love the handle I love the different shape I love the circularness of it um, and of course, obviously, this is very trendy this season, so love that. Um, when it comes to trendier items, I tend to not invest in designer bags just because um, I pretty much save those for more occasional wears like Coachella or beach days. Um, 
so I tend to not invest in those but for the more classic pieces as you'll see um, I tend to go designer because I feel like it's worth the money and um, it'll last forever hopefully now the third category of bag that I think every girl should have is the bucket bag um, this is mine this is it has become my everyday bag um, this one's from Monster Gabrielle. Um, here, let me tie it up for you um, so you can see what it looks like tied up. But I love the bucket bag because I feel like it's a lovely cross between a tote bag and a crossbody bag because you can fit all the things still in here. Um, this bag fits my camera, it fits my phone, it fits a water bottle, it fits my wallet, my keys. Um, a charger sometimes so I love that this has the ease of just chucking things into it um, but also the look of a crossbody bag and I just love that this is, this one is so cute this one I've had for about three years now I got it off of eBay because um, this was a time when Monster Gabriel was selling out on their website within minutes so I had to scour eBay for this one and I've had this one for three years now and it has become my everyday bag. Um, this one is definitely the most expensive bag in my collection but I feel like because I've worn it pretty much every day um, that the cost per wear is probably the best out of all my bags. Love, love, love this bag so much. So the fourth category I think every girl needs is a crossbody bag. Um, this is my favorite type of bag just because um, it's just super easy to sling across your shoulder and um, it keeps your hands free to do other things. Um, I also feel like this probably has the most variety of bags available um, and there's just so many cute ones out there right now. I currently have two. Um, my, the first one, this one is from Madewell. It's really, it's probably the smallest bag I have in my collection. Um, I pretty much use these for evening wear or for those days where I just need to run out and um, quickly just, I can just fit my phone, my keys and my wallet in here perfectly. Um, and it has this really cute ring that reminded me of the Chloe collection because, you know, I can't really afford a Chloe bag right now. So this is perfect as a little dupe for now. Um, but it has a long strap and I just love this for um, those days where I don't need to carry a lot around. And my second crossbody bag is probably my second oldest bag that I have in my collection. It's the Marc Jacobs Classic Q Natasha bag. Uh, I know a lot of people have this bag, um, but and with good reason. I think it's perfectly slouchy and it can fit surprisingly a lot in here. Um, before I bought the white Zara bag, this became my bag for those adventure days at Disneyland. Um, I even wore this to Coachella. Um, just because I love that it closes and nothing's going to fall out. Um, but I also love that this has a secure zip up here. So I, for here I put all my things um, like my keys or my wallet go in here. Um, just for easy access. Um, and I just... It's actually quite roomy for a bag like this. Um, I've been able to fit like a really thin sweater or scarf in here. Um, and I can fit like a water bottle, not the reusable ones that we have, but like a plastic one. Goes really well in here. Um, I got this when I was in graduate school, so this also has sentimental value to me. Um, I'm not quite sure if they make these anymore. Um, but I really love this bag and I know that this is one that I'm going to keep for forever and ever. Um, so love this one. Alright, we are now at the last category of bags that I think every girl needs. And I think that bag is a more structured bag. You'll notice that most of the bags that I showed you before were kind of slouchy. Um, they don't really hold their shape. Um, while you're chucking things into it um so i have two bags that two bags that are structured um which like no matter how much how much stuff i put in there it'll keep it'll hold its shape um i think this bag is for when you want to feel like a boss lady and when you want to feel powerful and put together so i think this bag looks different for every girl um for me it's more of like a satchel shape um because i personally don't like to hold bags um, by the handle unless it's a tote bag so I have two to show you the first one is this bag and it's my only non 
black handbag. It's from Cuaro and More. I picked this up at Poquetto in downtown LA a few years ago. Um, this one doesn't get a whole lot of wear, I'll admit, in my wardrobe because it's not black. I remember debating in the shop to get the black one or this pink one. And I remember Brandon was all for this bag, um, but I was all for the black one, of course. Um, because I knew I would wear the black one, but he said to get the pink one because obviously I don't have any non-black bags in my bat in my collection. Um, so I did pick this one up. But I will definitely try to push myself to wear this bag more because I do love the shape of the bag. Um, my second structure bag and the last bag in my collection is my beloved APC Half Moon bag. Um, I bought this one in Paris, so this one also has some sentimental um, value to me because I bought this while it was my first time in Europe. And I love that this ha keeps its shape um, no matter how much stuff I put in it. Even though I can't put as much stuff in into this bag as my bucket bag, um, this one can cannot hold my camera except the G7X, which I'm using to film right now. Um, but this one can carry, you know, my everyday essentials, and I feel like when I'm wearing this bag, I feel more powerful and a little bit smarter, um, and I just feel a little bit more put together. I would say this bag and the Monster are definitely, um, my most used, um, other than my Madewell tote bag. Um, these are typically my everyday bags, like on the weekends when I'm out and about exploring or hanging out with friends, I'll definitely go for these bags. Okay, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching um, my handbag collection. If you feel like I missed any, um, please comment down below and I'll check them out. Um, but for right now, for once in my life, I'm not craving or lusting over any bag. I feel pretty content with what I have and I hope that this will allow me to invest in other types of accessories right now because I feel like it's taken me a good, I would say, five years to build up this collection of items and I'm pretty happy with it. Um, I think now I'm going to move on to shoes um, and maybe and start investing in some designer shoes. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!